So I get to say a few words about Ian. And when I first came into ARA, you know, I'm kind of one of the little guys. There's a lot of big guys out there. And I got here and it was like, the McGregor company's here. And it's Ian. And I didn't know that much about him, but I looked up to the work that he and his family has done, especially as a model for family-owned retailers all over the US. So I was more than thrilled to find out that I could work with him. And as chair, you know, when I first became his vice chair, I was at this museum that had all these jet planes, kind of geeked out a little bit on that. But there was a sign, and in the sign says co-pilot, says, Keep your mouth shut and don't touch anything. <laughs> so I took a picture of it and I sent it to Ian, wherever he was. <laughs> and uh, I said, this is my role for the next two years, right? <laughs> no, he wouldn't have anything to do with that. Number one, because he truly is a team player and he has all of us up foremost in his mind. Second, he didn't truly believe I could keep my mouth shut and not touch anything. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> so um, I consider Ian a great friend now. He's been a great mentor, and he's been a great example of how to re lead this organization. And I've been proud to serve as his vice chair. And hopefully, he left big shoes to fill. Um, I will work to serve you guys as well as he has served you the last two years. Thank you, Ian. Well, they asked me to make a few remarks, and I don't have to make too many, because Ian was pretty thorough in his. <laughs> so first of all, I would like to thank you all for entrusting me with this incredible honor of serving as your next chair of the board for the Agricultural Retailers Association. I want you to know that I don't take this responsibility lightly. As I look across the room, the lights are very bright, but <laughs> I know it contains people that I respect and look up to, people that I learn from, people who are retailers that I compete with on the acre and collaborate with in the industry. Also, there are people that are not retailers but important stakeholders in our success who without you, we as retailers would not be able to do what we do. You should be starting to hear my theme for today, the basis that I think that will continue to make ARA great is its people. My work with this group and its members have cemented in my belief the power of who luck, as talked about by Jim Collins in his book, Great by Choice. As I move into the position as chair of the board, I find great comfort in knowing that I'm not in this alone. Jim Collins begins with the premise that we live in an environment of chaos and uncertainty. But that environment doesn't determine why some people thrive and others do not. It's the people that do. Of all the luck we can get, who luck? The luck of finding the right mentor, partner, teammate, leader, and friend is one of the most important things we are afforded in life. Yesterday, Darren talked about some of the accomplishments, and today, Ian continued that example of what we've done. They touched on a lot of successes that ARA has accomplished in the last year or so, mostly in the policy realm. 
advocacy work is fundamental to the success of this group and its members. It has been said several times throughout this conference that we are in a time of chaos and uncertainty. Our tools and our freedom to operate are being contested by the agencies, the courts, and other outside forces. I am sure, though, that each issue we can stay on top of for upcoming challenges. Policy is not the only important work of this association. It also works hard to provide you with member services, marketing tools, and events like this annual meeting to help you and your businesses grow. But let me circle back to where I started. The people. The wonderful staff and members of ARA are its key to thriving in the chaos and uncertainty. When I talk to students and other groups, I often tell them that the most important thing I want them to take away is this. To be successful, it's important that you show up and engage. Some of you have heard me tell about the story of my grandmother and her red dress. So if you have, please bear with me as I share it again. I am, believe it or not, an introvert. I work hard to extrovert myself and usually pay for it in dropping energy levels and the need to pull back into myself and regenerate, usually in the form of sewing, which then the pack auction gets benefit from. <laughs> when I was very young, my grandmother used to babysit me. One of these times, Grandma was to attend one of my grandfather's Christmas events. She was a smart-looking gal, and in her red suit, she looked really sharp. So we arrived at the room of the event, and when Grandma walked in, heads turned. I remember being really mad at her that she wore her red suit which made everyone in the room pay attention to us. When we talked about it, she said, if you were in a room and nobody knows you were there, why were you? I don't take that to mean that you always have to be the center of attention. But if you are not going to engage in some way, why are you wasting your time in attendance? Engagement comes in many forms. It could be in preparation for the event. It could be in participation in the event or following up on something or someone that inspired you after the event. What engagement is not is filling a chair like you weren't even there. I would like to invite each and every one of you to show up and engage in ARA. You have attended the annual meeting that we are just now concluding, but that's not the only member event that we hold. Our meetings and events are not just for seated board members. Show up and engage with the winter meeting and hill visits held next year, March 4th through 6th in 2024. There you will participate in committee meetings where the work of ARA is truly done. You will participate in advocacy on the Hill and you may attend the board meeting as an audience member. I invite you to show up and engage at this fall meeting held every September where we have a day of committee meetings and another in-person board meeting. A lot of our important policy Priorities are discussed and decided on at this meeting. And to have a true voice, you need to be in the room and engaged. Take advantage of the many member services learning opportunities offered by ARA and their sponsor partners. And come back to the annual meeting to put yourself in the path of the wonderful members and try your hand at a little who luck. Our theme this year is launching into the future of ag retail. That launch is here and now. 
But when you show up and engage in all of the work of ARA as a member, you don't just put yourself into the future. You can help shape that future of ag retail and be better prepared to make that future the best it can be for you and your businesses. I am honored to serve as your chair. I am excited to work with my vice chair, Dave Spears. And I'm excited about the incredible things that we can all achieve. Together, as we embark on this journey, let us build upon the successes of the past, embrace the challenges of the present, and shape a future that ensures the prosperity and sustainability of ag retailers and their partners. Thank you for giving me this honor.